Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these um, tiny pumpkins. Um, so these are great on their own or they can be hung up onto like a garland. Um, it can be made in any sort of colour combo that you want. So I'll show you what you're going to need. You're going to need some double knit yarn in um, two different colours. So one for the main pumpkin and then one for the stalk. So I'm going to make it in these colours the same as this one today. Um, you're going to need a four millimetre hook. You're going to need some scissors, uh, a darning needle and some toy stuffing. So I've just got this one that I get from Hobbycraft. I think it's like um, £3.50 for a bag. Um, and it's just like toy stuffing like that. I've also got this little purple one as well. I like that purple one. Um, so I just use Stylecraft, but you can use any double knit. Uh, and what you're going to do is get the end of your yarn. And you're going to start by doing a slip knot. Like that. And you're going to begin by doing a chain of 10. So we're just going to go yarn over, pull through. That's one, yarn over, pull through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what we're going to do, so you've got all your V's there, we're going to turn it over and on the back, let me see if I can get a close, you can see these little bumps there. We're going to work into them. So we're going to go in this first one here. We're going to do a double crochet into there. That's a UK term. So we're going to go in, yarn over, pull through. We've got two loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through two. So that's one. We're going to go into the next little bump on the back. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that all the way along. So by the end of it, we should have nine double crochets. Um, as I say, that is uh, UK terms. If you are used to US terms, then that's a single crochet. So I just use my nail to <laughs> push it on a bit. So I'm just going all the way along. Got two more to go. Oops. Um, and this uh, yarn colour is uh, a style craft, I say, in gold, if anyone was interested. So that's one row. Then going to do one chain. And then we're going to turn our work. So now we're going to be working back this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to work in the back loop. So again, this is our one chain. So we're not going into there. We're going into this first stitch here. So again, you see the V? We're going in that back V. So we're going to insert our hook in there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Again, we're going to go into the back loop and we're going to do this all the way along. So you're just working in the back loop. And what this does is by going just in the back loop instead of into um, both, because normally what we do is we go under both. Um, that's what creates the um, sort of the ridges. So we're going to do that all the way along. Till we get to the end. And then we're going to chain one again. And we're going to turn our work. And then we're going into the back loop again. So remember, we're skipping this first um, turning chain, going into the first stitch, into the back loop, and we're going all the way along again. So yarn 
into that just that back loop so you end up with just one on that let me show you if we'd gone into both you see if i'd gone under both you have both two of these sort of loops there you have the both the v but we're just going into the back so it's just one on there and what you're going to do is you're just going to keep doing this backwards and forwards backwards and forwards until you have 18 rows So what you can do is, oh, got caught there. So I do this one, and you're just going to keep going backwards and forwards until you get to 18 rows. So if you want to pause the video and do your 18 rows, and I'll see you back here um, to show you what to do next. So here we are with 18 rows. Um, so you should have finished on the opposite corner to where you started where this tail is um, and then what we're going to do so holding it like this we're going to fold it up we're going to insert into the outside stitch okay so if you see that the V we're working on this outside bit here and on this V because we have got a V because um, we went into the back loop so it gives us a V at the beginning as well we're going to go into the sort of other side, so this outside, if that makes sense, so the outside of both V's. So we're going to go in this one here, and then we're going to go down into this one here. We're going to do a double crochet, so pull through both of them two loops, and then yarn over and pull through them two. So again, we're going to go up into this outside loop out into this outside loop so it's the outside of the V yarn over pull through them two yarn over pull through them two so again on the this nearest one to us and then the furthest away and we're going to do that all the way along So I like doing it like this because um, it's less sewing <laughs> and I like doing less sewing. So I'm going to do that all the way to the end. So once you've gone all the way to the top, we're going to cut off a big, well not a big, but quite a long tail and just going to finish that off so I'm just going to pull that through and pull that all the way through so you're left with like a little tube so we're going to use this long tail and thread it onto our darning needle And with these on our left side, what we're going to do is just going to sort of put it into the top of the ridges. I mean, you can do it however you want, really, but I just this is how I do it just into the top of these, the, the sort of sticky outy bits, if you like. And you're going to go all the way around. All the way back to here and then you're going to put it nice and tight and it should all come together like that and then I just sort of flatten it out a bit and then I'm going to tie it to the small piece of thread that we had at the beginning so I'm going to tie it in a double knot nice and tight So then it looks like that underneath and then we're going to stuff it with our toy stuffing so you can put as much or as little as you want obviously the more you put in the sort of firmer it would be so it's probably a bit too much there so 
So I'm just going to push it so it's all the way around the edges. And then we're going to take our needle again. I'm going to go up through the center. Careful you don't uh, spike yourself. All the way up. And then we're just going to loop, hook it into the top of the other end. And we're going to do the same as what we did on the other end. So just in them top um, stitches of the sort of ridges, I'm just going to thread it through. All the way round. Just got two more. Then we're going to pull that nice and tight as well. And then we're going to put that thread right through the middle to the other side. We're going to pull that nice and tight. So it gives like a little dimple in the middle. And we're then going to tie it to the thread the other end again. Nice double knot, nice and tight. Just going to move it into shape. And there's our basic pumpkin. And going to snip the ends off and that's our tiny pumpkin so now we're going to work on the stalk so to make the stalk you're going to take your uh, contrasting color so I've gone for this green which is khaki and what you're going to do is do a magic loop so you're going to wrap that round and cross over You've got this cross on the back of your hand. You can take your hook under this one, pull this one through and twist it like that. And then you're going to sort of do one sort of slip stitch there. And then you're going to do four double crochets into this center. So you're going to go through the gap, pull the yarn through Pull yarn through the two. So yarn in, not yarn in, hook in, yarn over, pull through. You can do that four times. That's two, three, four. Let's move that out of the way. Then you're going to get the little tail and pull that tight. And then what you're going to do is just going to work in the round. So we're not going to um, sort of slip stitch into it or anything, we're just going to keep going. So we're going to insert our hook into the first double crochet we did. So we've got one here, two, three, and then four. So this is the first one here. So we're going to go into this first loop here under both of the V. We're going to yarn over and pull through. So we've got two loops on the hook we're going to yarn over pull through both of them and basically we're just going to work our way around and just keep going until it's the sort of length we want so uh, probably you don't want it too long probably about half an inch quarter of an inch long so you're just going to keep working round you just need to turn it so that the so it goes into like a tube, if you see. So turn it round, go into the next stitch. See, so you could have it just as long as that. And have it just there. So all I've done is just done one more round, really. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple more. And then once it's as long as you want it, you're going to cut off your tail and just end that. So I'm just going to go to the next stitch 
and just do a slip stitch pull that through so there is your stalk and then what we're going to do is we're going to sew that on so using the end that you've just finished with i'm going to put on to oh still got the other thread on there um onto your darning needle and this one i'm going to use to help tie it on in a minute so i'm just going to put it in the middle and what we just need to do is just hook under there and then join it onto the bottom of the stalk and then just move it round slightly on the pumpkin oh. well, you can sew it on however you like really but this is just how I have been doing them just moving this bit out of the way Go to the next stitch on the stalk and then move it along on the pumpkin. Move that one out of the way. Move the next stitch on the stalk and then move further round on the pumpkin. I'm going to go all the way round until we've sewn it all around and then what I'm going to do is the bit on the, from the other end we're just going to tie it you don't want to put it too tight because what it'll do is it'll push this bit in but I just want to do it tight enough that it holds it and then just to finish off I just push it underneath there Ooh. and then through the centre and then we're going to do the same with the other bit just going to go under the stalk And then out the bottom of the pumpkin. And then we're going to snip them off. One, two. And there we have our tiny little pumpkin. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And I'll see you all next time.